Hey folks, back with AOK Foraging Adventures here with Brenda. And we are here for our after Christmas hike, huh honey? Yes. And did we pick a great day or not? We sure did. <laughs> it's always a great day for our hike. <laughs> That's right. But it is starting to rain. So a bit. it's, it's kind of cold. It's kind of cold. But hey, let's go out there and enjoy the day anyways. Let's see what we can do. Well, folks, it's cold and it's windy, but we're doing it, huh, honey? <laughs> um, I'm trying out my new jacket. I'll have to give you guys details on my new jacket later. It's supposed to be a woo. <laughs> okay, I better get closer. You guys can hear me. It's supposed to be waterproof and all this stuff. But anyways, we're both uh, sporting our Teton bags. Uh, day hiking only. We're not. Whew. We decided after yesterday and the uh, all the eating and stuff, we'd come off for a hike and get a little exercise. Yeah, so far, I don't know. We're only a couple hundred yards from the car, but uh, it's proving to be okay. Right there is private property on the other side of the one row of corn. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't done a foraging video in a while. And this is not really the best time to do one. But I wanted you guys to see these right here. See that? That is staghorn sumac. And staghorn sumac, a lot of people use them to make uh, like a lemonade. Mm. They're a little past their prime and doesn't have much flavor. But in midsummer, they have a really great tart flavor. And that's why people just um, soak it overnight in some warm water or and, and let it cool on its own. And then they make a, like a lemonade out of it. I personally dry roast it and then add it to some brown sugar to it and some rice. It makes a really nice tasty rice uh, treat. So, but anyways, there's one thing I found so far. Well, it looks like they're doing some work out here. Huh. Hopefully they're putting in some more campgrounds. That would be nice if they did some primitive campgrounds out here. Now they have a couple primitive car camping campgrounds, but the uh, like walk-in primitive campgrounds, there's not, there's a couple, but there, I wouldn't say there's a lot of them. So, how you doing, babe? Good. I wanted to get out of the wind, so I am rushing ahead of her, basically, to see which way we go. All right. I don't know which way we go, so I'm gonna set you guys off and check all trails. Well, we found our way. We're on the other side of this dozer. I, it looks like that dozer or whatever that machine is came this way. See the tracks? So they must have been doing something down here. Maybe they're clearing. You think maybe they're clearing the uh, clearing the way? From trees and stuff. I, I bet that's what it is. Yeah. So, so where are we now, honey? 14. We're at number 14. So we parked. Where did we park? We parked oh. right here. Yeah. And then, actually, we parked right, right there. Right there, yeah. We're walking, and this was where our first junction, number 14. That's yep. where we're at. And then we're going to go all the way around and down this way, and then we'll go around the pond come back go down there to eight and then all the way down to where it says camping well we might not go to the camping site because that's not actually that's part of it primitive. we're supposed to go to eight and then turn back yeah. so that's what all but trails you, has us that's not right go. yeah but that's walking on the road i know okay <laughs> so i don't i don't like road walking and it cuts off some uh, miles for us so 
You enjoying yourself so far, love? Yep. Good. It's not raining anymore. Nope. It's just the wind, and now that we're getting into the, to the uh, woods, it's not as bad as it was. So that thing, that machine, it looks like it came in here, and yeah, they must have used it to help uh, cut the wood. Look at that. You guys can see all the white where things have fallen down. Yeah, so they must came in to maintain the trail with that thing. Yeah. All right, folks. So here's another thing that I just found. This, these are rose hips from the Multiflora rose. Um, it's a very invasive plant, but you can boil the rose hips for tea. Now, some people have eaten it. I feel like they're not really worth it because of the little pits in the middle and stuff. So, I mean, you could. And then here is a very awesome find. This is called the underwear tree. I don't know um, like how it grows or where it comes from, but it's very rare to find one. Hey, babe. Hey, what? Guess what I found? What'd you find? A very rare underwear tree. Really? Yeah, you want to see it? We have one in Iowa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come look at it. Okay, I'm coming. Look that way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never thought you'd see an underwear tree in Iowa, I, would I did know. you? No, that's just that's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know we had them here. I mean, come on. Do you think it's a male or a female? Oh yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Sorry for that little bit of humor, but I guess if you're gonna litter, make some art out of it. <laughs> I don't know, folks. Just don't litter. Well, we're f coming up on our first descent. And I've kind of pulled away from Brenda a little bit. I, I don't see her. So I'm going to wait here for her because I won't descend without her. So we'll be right back. Hi, babe. I waited for you since we're going to go on our first uh, descent. Okay. And so um, I don't know if it shows the camera shows very well. But we're going all the way down there. And then there's a bunch of logs piled up that we're going to cross the creek on. Well, folks, see those logs right behind me right there? Um, that used to go across this creek lengthwise, and we used to walk over them. But it's very nice that they now have done a uh, rock rocky, dam. gravel, kind of bridgey thing, right? I think it's a... Is it a rock dam? Yep. Oh, well, anyway, so that's pretty cool. And now we're going to go up there our first climb back up so maybe maybe that's why that machine was there too to haul in all these rocks right there oh man it's muddy yep. oh it's whew, it can get slick be careful honey yep, I know. So there she goes go slow easy does it oh my See, Iowa doesn't know about switchbacks. <laughs> they just they just think people should just go straight up. Ugh. That was one heck of a climb on all mud. We have a little bit left to go. Hey, be careful there. Whew. All right. Yeah. All right. I think that's the, the, the steepest we have, honey. So I have walked this trail before with uh, corn fed experience and I did and that's how I knew about the logs so well I suck as a youtuber because my battery's almost dead so <laughs> but we are actually in a field of uh, what do you call this hardwoods and well it's a little bit late but I wanted to show you guys this Yeah, that's uh, Hen of the Woods, way, way past his prime, but that's Hen of the Woods. So, yeah. Well, we came to a really nice bridge. Look at this. This is made by them. Ah, 30 pounds per square foot. Hmm, cool. Very cool. 
Man, look at that massive oak tree back there. Massive. Well, folks, look at that. It's old, and I don't know if the, the wasps are using it anymore or not. But that's how the wasps build their homes. That's very cool. So we are now back in the open field, right, babe? Yep. So then we're going to go around to that. There's a pond right over there that we're just going to go around. I'll show it to you guys when we get there. But hey, this open field is not too bad. But you see how wide the path is? It's like really wide, which makes it really easy and nice. This will be the best two mile or three mile hike, whatever it is. I'll tell you guys at the end. We've come to a split, a fork, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go around here and go all the way around. And Brenda's just going to go here and around, and then we'll meet around at the end of that bridge right there. That's where we're going to meet up. All right? So this is Overview Pond. And I'm going to go all the way around right there, and I'll meet up with Brenda over there. Well, here's our progress so far. That's where we parked, we walked down, and that's where we last filmed the last sign. We go all the way down, so we go past, and we're already at 11. We only have a half mile left to number eight, and that's where Brenda and I are gonna split up. Well, folks, my phone died, so we're using Brenda's phone. Look at this beautiful pond. The water is really down. You guys can see where that white of the beach sandy spot right there. That's usually covered with water. But look at the beaver devastation. All along there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Be careful, lady. <sighs> At least it's not muddy like it used to be. Look at that beaver devastation right there. He knocked this one down and then he he ate it all the way down. There's a thin layer of ice on this water right now. But hey, it's pretty cool. And there's another one that he got. Oh my god. What's up? This one. That one? Oh my gosh. He hit all the bark off of that one. Holy cow. He's been busy. Oh, yeah. And the one behind it there, too. Well, folks, we're here at the bottom parking lot. I am going to leave Brenda here. My phone is about to die. But I am going back the exact same way I came. So that way I get my all trails loop done. Brenda's going to sit here and she's going to film the rest of the video. How about that? All right, guys. I'll see you guys later on. My battery's almost dead, so the quality might be bad on this video. Uh, but I've left Brenda about 10 minutes ago, and I'm rushing to get back to the car because her walk will not be as long as mine. But hopefully, uh, since she's stopping to make coffee, it'll give me more time to get there. Well, folks, I am back to, you guys remember that bridge right back there? So hopefully she's wrapping up her coffee and starting to walk back. Because her hike is half the distance as mine. So I've been trekking along as fast as I can. But, man, I did something with my foot. But anyways, let's keep going. And hopefully she's done with her coffee and starting to hike back to the car. All right, tack is gone, and I'm down here having my coffee. Um, I'm going to head up the opposite way when I'm done. I'm sure she'll probably meet me <laughs> before I get halfway to the, to the car, but that's all right.
my third hike for December. Not too bad, not too bad. So the doctors may not like what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm just out here hiking. That's all they need to know. So, and then I got either this to try out. Let's see, Let's see that? And get a couple of these little Slim Jims too. So I'm not making a meal meal. Well, since I'm at my halfway mark, hopefully she's at her halfway mark. Uh, man, I'm booking. So maybe she's not even at halfway, but hopefully she is. Okay, I packed up and I'm headed out and that's the direction I'm going. I'll show you the lake. That's where we came from, over there. There's a bridge, we had some company. And over there's where I sat and had my coffee. So let's see how far I can get. Well folks, I just passed the underwear tree. I'm back to where the dozer is. I had to take a little snack break here for a second. So she should be almost at the car. She should almost be at the car. I have less than a quarter mile left, I think. Maybe a quarter mile, I don't know. But my alarm went off that I needed some something to eat, so. Anyways, yeah. I'm about to those people's homes and stuff, back to the field and stuff, so. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, folks, I'm back in the car, but uh, she's not here. But I see a figure kind of walking towards me. I'm hoping that's her. So I'm just gonna turn the car around I'm not, I'm going to let her finish the, her hike. This is her hike. She can finish it. Uh, I, I don't want to take that away from her. So I, I'm, I'm so proud of her. I am so proud of her. I'm just going to turn my car around. All right. That is where we started. Sorry I didn't film too much. That hill took, took my breath away and it's been windy. So I made it and I believe Tack is sitting there already filming. I'm not for sure what she's doing. Um, but anyways, I am happy. Got a, another hike down. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. It is her. I am so proud of her. She's coming. She's almost here. So, so proud of her. Well, folks, we are back together again. How was your hike, honey? It was good. Yeah? A little, little more challenging uh -huh, yeah. because of the hills up and down. Yeah, yeah. But, but I made it. I, I'm really happy, you know. The mud was challenging for me. Yeah. 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 But yeah. at least I got practice in hiking on mud. You know what I mean? Yeah. How, so how, How'd your shoes do? I think my shoes did great. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. Right, right. Yeah, I just about that. Yeah. How, how I think get. my shoes did great. I think, okay. uh, oh, oh my. Because that was under <laughs> a stocking cap. Um, but yeah, I think my shoes did great. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud of this woman. I am so proud of her. Until next time, <laughs> may all your adventures be a okay. <laughs> Should we try that again? <laughs> yeah. Until next time, may, may all, all your adventures, adventures be a okay. <laughs> Or we'll get it right yeah, sometime. <laughs>